Perpetua, a natural Perpetua mobile. This amazing natural cycle has affected mankind throughout history. As early as 2,000 years ago, the Greeks were using water wheels to grind grain. The first cities were built close to waterfalls and rivers. Water was used for transport, as well as to drive the water wheels that in turn powered flour mills and sawmills. Hydropower was important for the Industrial Revolution that began in the early 1800s. Initially, machines were powered directly by water, but later on, water was used to produce electricity. Because of its many rivers and waterfalls, water has always been an important source of energy in Norway. Today, 99% of the electricity produced in Norway is generated by harnessing the eternal cycle of water. Far inland, along the Hardangerfjord, surrounded by majestic mountain scenery, lies the parish of Eidfjord and the Seema power plant. Looking at the Seema power plant from the outside, it may be difficult to grasp that it is one of the biggest hydroelectric power plants in Northern Europe. Inside the massive mountains surrounding Hardangen and the Seema Valley, there's an impressive system of about 60 kilometers of tunnels and pipes that have been blasted out of the rock. Up on the mountain plateau, at an altitude of 900 to 1,876 meters, all precipitation in the area is stored in water reservoirs. The water is released down a one kilometer long chute to sea level and the heart of the power plant, the turbine hall. The gigantic hall was blasted out of the rock 700 meters inside the mountain. Its size is comparable to a 14 story building with 450 apartments. The turbine hall houses the four generators that produce approximately 2.9 billion kilowatt hours a year. That's enough energy to supply a city with a population of 300,000. SEMA Power Plant is living proof that a feat of engineering can enable us to use nature's own forces to produce enormous amounts of energy in an environmentally sound way. Nature and the power of water have always affected life in Aitiu. In the old days, people hunted and fished, living off what nature provided. Later, they ran small farms. But something happened when the English first started hiking across the mountain plateau in the 1830s and saw the spectacular Verding Spossum waterfall with its 183 meter drop. Water isn't always only beautiful. People living in the Simadal Valley also had to contend with major floods. By 1890, the problem was so serious that drastic measures were needed if people were to continue living here. The solution was to build a 386 meter discharge tunnel from the Demavapna Lake. At last, people in the valley could feel safe. But on the 12th of August, 1937, disaster struck. The pressure from the water caused the collapse of the glacier tunnel that formed a natural dam for the Demavapna Lake. 12 million cubic meters of water cascaded down the valley, washing bridges, trees, and 20 houses into the fjord. The year is 1973. A new era is about to start in the lives of the people of this small parish. After 10 years of planning, the Stadtkraftwerk in the power company is starting construction of the Seema power plant. The head of water resulting from heavy precipitation in the surrounding mountains was to be harnessed to generate electricity. The work was very demanding and more than eight years were to pass before the project was completed. The locals saw many changes. When the project was at its peak, more than 1,200 people were employed in constructing the dam and the power plant, causing the population to double. One of the biggest challenges was that the dams had to be built high up in the mountain plateau in impassable terrain that was completely devoid of roads. All supplies had to be transported up by helicopter or on temporary snow roads during the winter. Where possible, roads were built for the dumper trucks and lorries that were needed to get the heavy work done. 
The engineers drew up plans, and 60 kilometers of shafts and tunnels were systematically blasted out of a rock for optimum utilization of the power in the water. Eight years of hard work in difficult conditions and inaccessible terrain were finally completed. Every year since, the SEMA power plant has supplied 300,000 households with clean energy. Today, the enormous dams are the most visible reminder of the construction process. The Seesum Dam, which is 1,157 meters long and one of the largest dams in Norway, is very impressive. It's clear we're talking about a project on an enormous scale. Take the numbers for the accumulation area. Imagine a football pitch. The accumulation area is as large as 110,000 football pitches. Just one millimetre of rain in this area provides enough water to supply 100 households with electricity for a whole year. From there, the water plunges down a vertical 600 metre drop and is forced through five nozzles before hitting the turbine wheels at about 500 kilometres an hour. At full production, 1120 megawatts, the four turbines need about 140,000 litres of water per second. After passing through the power plant, the water runs out into the fjord and out to the sea. SEMA power plant is a part of a European energy network. The power plant is centrally controlled and may be started or stopped within a minute to respond to any change in demand. In principle, SEMA can supply electricity to consumers anywhere in Europe.